<laughs> I know this isn't what you expect to see on the Santa track, but it's all I could throw together quick enough to try it. It's a quarter after five. Five thirty is my cutoff. You can see my oh, I got some tape under here. That's the problem there. There, that helps. There's a a bend. I think it's when I brought the track over. It bent. It bent a little bit, so you can see it kind of compressed. But this is a lightweight. This is an Atlantic. That's an experimental tender. I mean, everything on here is an experiment, other than the the motor is. Well, it's even, it has a DC field on it, uh, so it's been converted. But the, what I want you to notice is the smoothness of the operation. Oh, by the way, those are 3D printed connecting arms, the <laughs> drivers on the wheels. Uh, okay, uh, the smoothness of the, the rolling and the sound and the... It, it, there's no hiccups anywhere. I mean, it's just, it's going, you know? I don't have a hitch on that, but I could throw some cars on if I did. I mean, I have a hitch over there, but it's, I only have 10 minutes. I am thoroughly surprised. Austin, this track sounds so nice. I mean, it just comes around and you hear it rolling, but you just don't hear... All the extra noises that you used to. That's very nice. Very stable. I know I can fix that over there. I know what I did. But you can see here, it's just flat. I need another support. I have room to put one, too. Um, wow. That is lovely. Oh, yeah. This is nice. See, now this is going to make... The train enjoyable and fun and it won't be so clickety clackety which makes Margaret kind of crazy it's all this racket how can you hear anything when the engines all making all that isn't that nice now I could get smart and try to juice it that's a 30 volt, 30 uh, miles an hour on my uh, my dual, what is this? 18B. Oh yeah, there's more, I mean, that's half throttle. That thing could fly off the rails if I wanted it to. I don't want it to. That's at 25 miles an hour. Okay, so there are some changes. This is not a standard AC Gilbert engine, obviously. Um, boy, Austin, this works much better. And if that's my fault. That's got a bend in the track. I could flatten that out. Um, the, um, the AC motor fields, the wire wound fields have been replaced with the DC field like we had in the early uh, 50s uh, with ferrite magnets, only I'm using superconducting magnets and I have a 3D printed field on there. So we've got a DC fields using the Air, uh, AC Gilbert armature. Okay, now that requires a DC reverse and control so we have a DC reverse and control on there. Let's see how that works, huh? That's reverse. And there's forward. So we have reverse and forward the same exact way um, it's just that it's a it's a DC current. We have a converter on the and on the tender that changes the AC to DC, and then that DC goes into our motor control board, and it runs the engine directly using DC. I think 
taking the time to clean the pins and align the pins for good contact is another point where the track has zero ohms in that loop. I tested both loops completely, just like I did before. I had 0.2 ohms, now I got zero. So I've done something to improve it. That's nice. Um, I don't think the ro rubber road helped, but the rubber road has certainly made this an enjoyable uh, train to listen to. I mean, it just rolls. It just rolls. It's beautiful. Oh, the other part of this is on the tender. You might notice we have brass wheels on all four corners uh, because these these trucks are uh, all-wheel pickup. Each wheel picks power up. They have an insulator act between the uh, axle tips. The axles cut in half, put together with an insulator, and then uh, each wheel carries power up to the AC converter to DC. So we're getting uh, four wheels on the right, four wheels on the left, picking up power, and the track has just been cleaned. So this is like the perfect, <laughs> this is as good as it gets, or this is pretty damn good. Uh, so it has a DC field, it has a DC reverse unit, and it has all-wheel pickup. And it's at 20 miles an hour with no load. Pretty nice. I can see a little bump over there. I'm not sure what it is. And those rubber tra oh, you can't see it. I have a hold on a second. I'm gonna walk around and make it crazy. Um, you can't see the best part of the track. No 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 I'm coming. Here I am. I'm back. I'm gonna get on get out. If I fall and scream, you'll know what happened. There you go. Look at the track. Look at that track. Look at this track. Yeah, these are my these are my wood. Yeah. Look at that track. Is that gorgeous? Smooth. 20 miles an hour. That's probably getting 7 8 volts. All right, I'm going to call it, boy, oh boy, Austin, I'm so sorry I didn't do this earlier. My God, uh, this is terrific. This is terrific. I'm going to get, I'm going to have to decorate this now. I'll get Margaret to help me. She's really good at decorating. Me, not so much. I'll have to get the other engine back together. It's all apart. <laughs> I took it apart thinking, oh, I'll just update it. Blah. I forgot what I had put in there. It had a Lionel Electric Railroad soundboard, motor controller, lights. Uh, it had a lot in it, although its smoke is the original piston smoke and all that, and running off track power. So uh, there's a lot more I can do to it differently um, with the new stuff that we show here. But this, this. Rubber Road is is awesome. I'm thoroughly impressed. I put cork down now, but you know, I don't think I could afford to <laughs> replace it all <laughs> because um, it, it would be tempting if I could work a deal, but I don't. I don't imagine I could. At any rate, Austin Berkeley has rubber road bed, and he prints it on a 3D printer, and it works. It is nice. It's quiet. It's decorative, it holds the track. The track is much more stable and quiet and it, the train just rolls so smooth. Wow, okay. I'm gonna close it here and uh, maybe tomorrow I'll work on the engine a little bit and show you what we're gonna have for the real Christmas engine. It won't look like a skeleton running around. This is Franken Train Laboratories, so what'd you expect, right? <laughs> When I run out of time, I throw a Franken train at you. <laughs> okay, okay. Thanks, Austin. Take care. I'll talk to you online somehow, some way, and um, 
You guys take care of yourselves. Give Austin a look up. He's on YouTube too. He's got a lot of videos. In fact, he educated me on the O Gage uh, AC Gilbert kits that they were selling. You could get a, I think it was a Hudson and a, maybe a Northern in a kit form. And I'm thinking that's what I'm going to be looking to with my parts. I'm going to put them in a box like a kit so you can take your engine in this kit and update it to the DC fields if you want. That kind of stuff. At any rate, that's the show for now. I'll be back later.